Welcome to JHEP's lesson on shuttle sorts. This is mainly for AQA students, but OCR and MEI students can have a listen to, although some bits may not be relevant to you, or some bits may be missing from your um, exam board. So check up with your spec. Um, just to recap, you just need to know the different um, the different terminologies here, like the comparisons, the sorts, the past and terminating. But since we've done that over at Bubble Sort, you can either pause the video or we will move on. So first of all, the question is to place these numbers. They're exactly the same um, as the Bubble Sort ones, but using Shuttle Sort. And as I said, AQA may say that you don't. You don't actually need to write down each stage, only each pass. So what you do, and um, what the special thing about shuttle sort is that um, in these fewer comparisons than um, than bubble sort usually, um, and you'll see why. So the first thing to do is um, you first compare the first two numbers. So you compare these two numbers, and then the next pass you compare the first three numbers the next four numbers, the next five numbers, the next six numbers, but we'll get to that. So one and eight, this is the first pass by the way, one and eight, one and eight, that's fine. So that's the first pass, first pass, done. Do even need to do anything, first pass. One comparison, zero swaps. It will be, um, it will be beneficial to do that, one comparison, zero swaps, because you've only compared one of them. For the second, um, for the second pass, for the second pass, oops, I forgot about the seven. Um, we are com going to compare the first three numbers. So um, let's start. Let's start from the furthest right. So eight and four. Um, that's not in ascending order, so we can swap them around. You can swap them around and since this is a new number over here in the second row we compare these ones these two as well so one and four that's in ascending order so that is the second pass second pass we had two comparisons remember four and eight and one and four and one swap the third the third one is going to be comparing the next four numbers. The first four numbers, should I say? Go about the seven again. The first four numbers. So we have a look at this four. So let's look at the furthest right again. Eight and six. That is not in ascending order. So what you do, you can you swap them. So that's the first swap and that's the first comparison. Since um, this has been swapped, you move, um, you compare these two numbers, four and six. Four and six are in ascending order. So you don't move anything. And this is the magic of shuttle sort. Because this hasn't moved, you don't have to compare this now. Just due to the fact that the computer already knows that these are in ascending order. So therefore we've only done two, uh, two comparisons and one swap. Okay, so we write for the third pass. You've only done two comparisons and one swap. Um, for the fourth pass. For the fourth pass, we compare the next five numbers. So we look at the furthest, right? Eight and two. That's not in the sending order, so we swap it. That's our first comparison and our first swap. Since this is a new number, we need to compare these two to see if they are in the sending order, and they're not. So we need to swap them again. That's our second swap and that's our second comparison as well. Since this row has a new number, we need to compare these two numbers to see if they're in ascending order. They are not in ascending order, so we need to swap them again. That is our third comparison and third swap. And since 
this number has changed, we need to go and compare these two to see if they are in ascending or descending order. Um, this is in ascending order, so you don't need to swap it. So we've got one, two, three, four comparisons and three swaps. So we've got fourth pass. You've got um, four comparisons and three swaps. For the fifth one, for the fifth one, all we need to do is to compare the first six numbers. So what we do is compare the next, um, the last two, eight and seven. That's in, that's not in ascending order, so we need to swap it. So that's our first comparison and first swap. Since this number's changed, six and seven, we need to compare it. That doesn't change. So we do not need to compare any of these, just for the fact the computer already knows they are in order. So we've done one, two comparisons, and one swap. So for the fifth pass, We have done two comparisons and one swap, a bit like wife swap. So, in order, in in essence, we have done in total one, three, five, nine, eleven comparisons, and zero, one, two, five, six swaps. On the bubble sort, we have also done six swaps as well. I just put it here so I can remember. But we did 20 comparisons, 20, that's a lot, compared to 11. So shuttle sort at this current moment is more efficient than bubble shorts. Thank you for watching.